Well, thank you, and uh, congratulations on your seventh uh, doubles title, uh, Grand Slam, sorry, together. Um, your opponents in the, in the press conference talked about your experience being something that troubled them. Is that something that you feel that is really important for both of you as a doubles pairing now winning your seventh Grand Slam, your experience on court? Well, I think it's definitely an advantage to be experienced and to have so many finals um, uh, behind us and also so many successful finals behind us so definitely uh, yeah it's a big advantage for us any questions in English thanks Courtney uh, congratulations ladies once again um, just going off of that question in terms of experience where do you feel the experience like what is the difference between when you played your first major final I don't know if it was nerves or the way that you approach the match compared to to now um, I would say the nerves I mean you are anyway it doesn't matter which match it is you are nervous but final of the Grand Slam it feels different anyway so if you we were thinking about our first first Grand Slam final it was yeah I was totally nervous so I would say this but anyway even if we had so many finals, I mean, you just try to think about it that it's another match and uh, you just feel confident. I mean, I was nervous. It doesn't matter if it's fifth or seven, I don't know, but I just, I was just, it's different. It just feel different, yeah. Aki. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, question for Babala. Uh, so yesterday, last night, you were watching that uh, women's singles match, and maybe you are, you were not cheering for a specific player, but uh, what what brought you there, and uh, did you get any good inspiration from that match? Well, I definitely wanted to watch it because I mean it's a it's a women's grand slam final, and I felt it's gonna be a really special match, and uh, it was. I think both girls they. They played amazing tennis, and it was really up and down. There were so many situations where, you know, things could turn around for one or, or another side. And, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I love to watch tennis, and, I mean, I had nothing better to do on Saturday night. So, you know, as I'm here, I'm still, you know, in a competition. Uh, I like going and watching matches and, you know, just, yeah, maybe get inspired as well. So... Yeah, I mean it was a, it was a great match, and I mean huge congratulations to Arena for becoming a, a Slam champion. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we had a little conversation together, and and a couple of years ago we played finals in doubles uh, on a, on a Rotlaver, and and we lost that one. And I mean after that she said she's not gonna play because she wants to focus to 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 win a singles major. And I mean, I'm really happy for her that that she, that she made it because I know how hard it is, and I know uh, how much hard work you have to put into. And I know her and her team; they do it. So I'm really happy for her, and I mean, also for Elena. I mean, um, yeah, like I'm I'm sorry, but I mean, she 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 tried her best, and she played she played great great match, and she's already a Slam champion. So. Uh, yeah, it was a really, really nice, nice match, and uh, and I really, I really enjoyed it. Courtney, just for each of you, what does it mean to win number seven? Uh, to not have lost a Slam match since U.S. Open 2021, and to be on this little streak you have going. It's wow. <laughs> I mean, it means a lot. Uh, I'm really excited, and to have this trophy again, I'm. Uh, to look like back what we achieved last few few months it's amazing so i'm really proud and i'm happy that we're playing so great and the team spirit is working because it's it's tough and so i'm really really happy i would say just happy hmm. i have to say it's a really there's a lot of like hard work behind it uh yeah so many practices you know so many so I remember many, many ma matches, uh, you know, that we got really close, 
a couple of times we were here to to the semifinals or other slams, and we just didn't, you know, we just weren't able to to get through. And and I think with the experience and with everything that, uh, as the teams are changing, some teams are you know not playing anymore or they're retiring. So, just the uh, generation is is changing as well. And and I mean, I'm really happy that you know as part of this tennis generation we are. Uh, we are uh, trying to be the best ones, and and we we are quite successful. So I'm 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 really happy with that, and I'm 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 honored. Uh, another question to Babala. Uh, on a winner's speech, you uh -huh. gave your opponent uh, very good words. You know, compliment, nice things. Uh, how? Why did you feel like a there? You know, you said that they are very happy and that they are very humble. Uh, where did you feel like because that way? Because they, they are. Because they are. Because I mean, I, I see them. I see them during the year, and I mean, I see them here every single day, and they're just so polite all the time. And I feel just all the Japanese uh, people. I mean, I, I, they're just, you know, polite like this, and they are very thankful and 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 grateful for everything that that is. You know, they just. Have a different mentality than I think than than uh, I don't know maybe than us. <laughs> so um, you know, girls. Every time I see them, they are happy. They smile. They say hello. They say, uh, you know, please, thank you. Just very uh, well behaved. And I mean, it's just it's it's a you know it's a great time to you know to be around them because as I said, they. It's, like I see Shuko, she, she, you know, the the speech she she gave today, uh, she just, you know, she was so emotional, and she was just so happy that even, you know, even that she lost, she 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 was there and she got her opportunity and and uh, I mean at at some at uh, you know at in a certain way I, I feel sorry for her, you know that you know she, she she wasn't able to you know to get the the title, but yeah, I mean I believe. She, well, no, <laughs> that's to say, like, I don't want to say that, you know, she's going to get it at, at some point because, you know, like, I, I don't want, I don't want that. I, I, I want us to win, but definitely she has a, I mean, she still has a huge potential and she is a really good doubles player. For both of you to have the success that you've had consistently at the slams, how important do you feel that it is to have, like, um, to elevate the doubles game the way that you guys have done, not just in terms of the play that you have on court, but historically it has helped doubles to have consistent champions. You know, like when Sonia and Martina were winning consistently or, or Bethany and, and, and Lucy, things like that. Do you feel like it, it helps the, that side of the sport to have a dominant team? <laughs> uh, it would be nice, but I think it's not just in our hands I mean we're trying to show our best we're doing what we love and we are just so happy that we we having the titles but I mean it's it's uh, someone needs to also help us to kind of like show that doubles is also interesting that a lot of players playing it and it's just different even if it's like you know, it's uh, it's hard to say because I feel that I'm really good doubles player. I'm world number one, but I don't feel any wow when I'm here, you know. I don't have courts for practices. I need to go to somewhere else because it's just doubles. But I think I do the same work what the singles players does. I mean, I have a team. I practice every day. I work hard. And... So I'm really honored that I have the trophy. Even when I'm like walking around, I don't feel so much, you know, pressure that everyone's looking me. So it would be really nice that someone would, I don't know, show more doubles, more the team, the teams who are playing more often, and just you know, a little bit promote them. Last one, English, before we switch. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Paris. Are you, are you gunning for the non-calendar Grand Slam? <laughs> Is that a goal, a specific goal now for the year? No. 
Uh, well, I think for me, no, I think we have to focus on on the next one and we both are going to go playing singles right now and, uh, you know, to try to improve in singles and then at some point we're going to start, uh, we're going to play another tournament together so we're going to focus just tournament by tournament and, uh, I mean, then, yeah, we will see what's what's going to, what's the future is going to gonna bring us. Thank you, everyone. We'll switch to national language. <laughs>